So let me begin by asking you as a filmmaker, what was it about this story, about this subject that you wanted to document, and then of course meeting uh, Robert and, and collaborating to do that? Well, uh, this is, to me, the most important story of our times. I think sometimes when you're in the pot as the frog, it's tough to know when it's getting warmer and warmer and you're boiling. But in in my lifetime's case, that was certainly it. I always thought that the rich was getting richer and that, and that uh, income was uh, not d divided equitably, but I didn't realize it was this unequal. I didn't really understand the scope of the problem and the extent to which it affects everything. That it's not only a problem that's a moral question that we might all have, or if you're a conservative or a liberal, you might think one way or the other, but that it affects our economy, that our economy is stuck in neutral right now because of this widening income inequality, and also that our democracy and our society doesn't feel as cohesive, and it's maybe a little bit more partisan than I would certainly like it to be, and maybe that's partially because the income is divided the way it is. How did you feel being documented and, and being a part of this film in the way? You uh, Jake sucked me in. I, he, I had no idea it was going to require the amount of work and dedication, uh, and, uh, but it's been uh, a wonderful experience. Uh, I, I was not entirely uh, at ease with as much of my biography, personal biography, being used, but Jake convinced me that it's one way that people relate to the material, relate to the film. The message and the messenger have got to pull people in. Yeah. It was, uh, it was lucky that Bob didn't know what he was getting into when he agreed to make the movie. Thank so. you, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you about the subject matter itself, um, obviously a subject you know quite well. What, as Americans, what is it that we're not understanding? What is it that we're not getting about this problem? Well, there's a tendency to want to blame. I mean, a lot of people are very frustrated and very angry, understandably. Uh, and some want to bl blame the poor, and some want to blame the rich, and some want to blame corporations, and some want to blame government. Uh, but uh, the, the real note, the, the core of the film is that it really has to do with how the system, as a system of laws and rules uh, defining the economy, is no longer functioning as we want it to function. We have to approach it uh, as a system. We've got to stop the blame game. Uh, and inequality is not just bad for the middle and the poor, it's bad for everyone. The rich would do far better with a, with a smaller share of a much more rapidly growing economy than they're doing that right now with a big share of one that is barely growing at all. How can we fix the problem and where do we go from here? Well, at the end of the film, um, we, uh, you know, we, we, didn't, we didn't want to make the film and Jake didn't want to make the film into a kind of a political statement of here's what we must do. Uh, with the notion that the uh, solutions really follow from an understanding of the problem. At the end of the film, there's a website uh, at, at least, uh, and, and we want people to go there. We have a lot of very specific suggestions for what people can do if they want to do them. Uh, a lot of very, uh, uh, some of them are very grassroots, some of them people can do on their own, some of them people can do by organizing others, uh, but it is going to require a very major movement. And if nothing is done, where does that lead us? Uh, if nothing is done, um, the trends are just going to get worse. Uh, the economy is going to suffer, our society will suffer, our democracy will suffer. At some point, uh, I suppose, if nothing is done, uh, we're going to see some very serious social, social upheaval. But in this country, we never get to that point. We uh, always reform capitalism before capitalism gets completely out of control. We, uh, time and again, we save capitalism from its own excesses.